Hello, yes, hello, Winston, come back, come back, we've got it, hold on. You can sit there, you sit there, you sit there. Hey! We're on, hello everybody, hello. So sorry about that. This is my first time doing it on YouTube and it's a lot more complicated than just hitting live, surprisingly, but here we go. We are live and everyone's there's there's a lot of people in the chat so thank you all for joining and if you haven't made it live because hopefully this might go wrong it should record and it should just get uploaded once we finish streaming but you never know right let's just get started by explaining what has happened this week because hope you guys have been enjoying the videos for a start because well well i thought there were, i thought there were, some of them were all right i've got pablo i've got stanley We've got Winston, who's Winston? It's been your old. Oh, yeah, people want to see your face. Look, he's Winston. So we've had a bit of a nightmare week because, as you see, Pablo is wearing a jumper. Can you see his jumper? You can see his jumper. Pablo's wearing a jumper because you've got a bit of a skin infection, haven't you? A bit of ooze and a bit of yellow there. So we put some like cream on him, but the cream absolutely stinks and it's like getting on all the furniture. So he's having to wear a little jumper to keep himself protected. Stanley? Stanley has got conjunctivitis in one of his eyes. So as you can maybe see this eye here, it's slightly closed. So we've got eye drops, we've got painkillers. What have we got for you? We've got some sort of tablet for him. I'll have to do what Chelsea does all that stuff. You okay? But he's getting there, his eyes opening a lot more now. And then Winston, Winston's absolutely fine. But yeah, so obviously trying to sort the vets out at this time is a nightmare because no vets are like properly open. But hey yo, so. Boy oh boy. Okay, yeah, uh, so your questions are flying through and I can't read that quickly, so I apologise for missing things you guys say. I am sorry. I did a Twitch stream the other day and there was like eight people in and that was very manageable. Well, that was, it was very manageable, but this is, I mean, there's 300 people at the moment, which is incredible. Thank you guys so much for all the support you give us and the channel. And luckily, they're all going to sit nicely because they're really tired because today they have been absolutely flat out just racing around the garden um i can move you but i don't want to because we've got it working at the moment and i don't want to stop working so we'll just leave everything but chelsea has been in the kitchen cleaning the oven bless her she's been scrubbing hard all day doing that while i just sat and played fifa no it's, it's too small for two people but yeah she's been doing that and chelsea is upstairs currently now asleep Obviously, I said I was streaming at 6 o'clock, but she's tired and she's gone to bed. But Chelsea isn't as into the whole YouTube thing. She's not. She doesn't really want to be on camera that often, which, I mean, I 100% understand. Some people like that, some people don't. Chelsea doesn't particularly. When she's on videos, she's funny, she's hilarious, but she doesn't like being on videos. So I'm not going to force her to come and sit on here. If she wants to come down, when she's, if she wakes up, she might come and say hello to you guys, but... As of now, it is just the boys. And they are knackered. They're all very, very tired. But if they wake up and start running about, we can push the camera back and you can watch them all. Let's have a look what you guys saying. Just wearing that for Pablo limited edition. Ah, Sophie Louise in your limited edition t-shirt. Yes. There's only two of them made. I'm sat on my just normal one, which you can... Go get now, Teespring. So, go do that. It's the, it's a, I, I, my eyes don't work this fast. There's so many of you guys. Slow chat. Ah, it's a good idea, actually. How do I do that, though? Ah, okay. I'm, I'm like kind of just like glancing at comments and just catching a few little things people are saying. So, I think that's what I'm just going to have to do. 
Um, I don't know if we've got super chat on or whatever where you can like do donations. I think that's turned off at the moment. We can add that in the future and then you guys will definitely get your questions answered. But at the moment, I want to try it like this. And if it doesn't work, these marks on my arm, they have been mentioned in quite a few videos. It's a birthmark. I've had that since birth. When I was a kid, it was a lot bigger. It's kind of faded out a little bit. I had laser surgery on it for like eight years, six years. Eight or six years, but it didn't really change, so that's what that is. Are you barking? Why are you barking? Why are you barking at? What? What? <laughs> Silly boy. Um. Okay then. How are we coping with isolation? Uh, very well. This this genuinely is what is kind of is like most days for me, apart from just. Nipping out here and then, going to see my mom, my grandparents, things like that. It's the only thing that's changed. Generally, I sit in the house all day, most days, so it's not particularly different. It's just different because Chelsea's now here, but we're coping all right. We're doing fine, and I hope, just I hope everyone is safe. Hope everyone is staying safe. Hope everyone is cleaning the hands, washing the hands. And if you are going out, you know, being extremely safe. And if you are one of the people who is having to work, you're a key worker. Thank you guys so much. If you work in shops or you're a nurse or anything like that, like massive credit to you guys because yeah, you guys are doing an unbelievable job, unbelievable job. Has oh no, have we frozen? Is it did we freeze at some point? I've lost the chat. I've lost the chat. No freeze, no. Oh, it's just frozen on my end. Okay, right, well, that's fine. Uh, Pablo? Good boys, good boys, well done. See, just getting them to sit in a line is very difficult, and how long these sketches actually take to film, considering they're only like two, three minutes long, is a long time, because if they decide they don't want to do something, there's nothing you can do about it. But you just did very well, actually. We didn't, I think the kitchen one took about two and a half hours, three hours to film that one, so there you go, a little behind the scenes. Still on, I need to add that, okay, good. Pablo's looking hench. Is, he's very, Pablo's very wide. Why don't you lie down, mister? Why don't you lie down? Go on, you're about to. If you lie down as well. Oh, little tired bear, little tired bear. Got another one to eat. Pop in again later. Yeah, if you want to drop in and out of the stream, it will, sh it should be uploaded afterwards and you can watch the full thing. So if there's anything you missed, you can skip it back afterwards. Are you coming down? Good boy. Because they're all going to wake up now and you're all going to run away, aren't you? And then there's going to be no one on the stream. Yes. Next week we've got some videos planned, I think, kind of. So we're kind of just doing it as days go by. Days go by, isn't it? Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. What? Yeah, all the merch is still for sale. It's all on Teespring. 
Uh, d I don't know if they're sending stuff out or if you're buying stuff from there. It'll maybe take a good bit of time before it gets to you because I don't know if they're still working or anything like that. I'm not fully in touch with them, but I imagine if you are buying any merch, the blankets, t-shirts, anything like that, it might be a while before you get it. So hold out on it. Wait till this whole thing's blown over. Don't go out and get stuff now, especially when people aren't getting paid. Like I don't want you guys buying my stuff if you're not getting paid. Hey, right, here we go. Little Stan, he's got all woken up. He's got excited now. Now you get to see what it's normally like during filming. But all the bits that I don't film or don't put in the videos. When you're not doing what you're told. Yeah? Bah. 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 Right. Let's, uh, let's even at the boy. Oh. Yes, Stan. Yes. Yes, when this all, this summer, I know there's like Pugfest and there's loads of dog festivals, especially here in the UK, that we were fully planning on going to, taking all three of them and going, because last year Winston was too young, Stanley's old enough now to take him and go along this is his cars, we could have came and told you guys where we were going and met up with a load of you guys, done some meets and things like that, but obviously with this whole COVID-19 thing, whether that will happen, we don't know, because if it's because all these events and stuff have been cancelled up until like October. So we don't know. We, we hope we can. We hope it kind of blows over and we can come do this. And uh, our pugs meet your pugs, meet other dogs. But it's, it's, it's such a hard situation at the moment that we can't confidently say yes we are, no we're not. Because we, we don't know. Nowhere knows. Winston, you're very unsociable. I think the camera's that way. Yeah. Not you. Not you. Not you. Hello. Dee dee dee. Can you do some voiceover clips of the boys? Yeah, we'll do some. We'll do some clips. Yes, Puppy Power. That is my Twitch name. Um. Yeah, we'll try and do some voiceovers. Some things of the dogs talking. Because everyone likes the dog. You know, people like dog talking videos. Either voicing over or we'll just have like when the writing's above the above the heads. And it's like up here. It's like up here. No? You you stand you coming down. Yeah, I mean there's so much um, so much going on at the moment. It's ridiculous. Considering it's isolation, there's like there's a lot happening. But not all the t-shirts stuff. They're available in different colours. Um, yeah, we'll film everything. So if we do like meet and greets, we'll come meet all your dogs and all things like this. We've had some ideas for videos where like maybe every month we'll come meet a subscriber and their dog, and then do like a kind of every month do like a spotlight video of someone else's dog, maybe. Like the first one we want to do is someone who was on a Twitch stream last night or a couple of nights ago, whatever it was. Like they have a they have a guide dog, like a blind leading dog. Guide, uh, yeah, guide dog. With the, yeah. So we maybe do a video on that, like how, because obviously we've got three just chilled pugs. Go meet loads of different types of dogs and kind of do features on the channel where we do load. Like, I think that'd be cool. So meet different types of dogs, working dogs, super chill dogs. Like, maybe meet some, excuse me, that is actually sore. Meet some dogs maybe that do like agility, and, you know, really hyperactive, like just a wide variety of different dogs. Maybe we'll go meet some other pugs and have like pug chill days. There's so much we can do. There's very, very much we can do. Yes. Hi, aha. I want to see Supercar fly on the couch again. I don't want to bump into them. I don't want to bump into them. <laughs> yeah, Pablo, Pablo's skin. Are you? I don't think we'll be able to show you his skin because he's, he's um, it'd be very wriggly to go and get it in his hair. But what we think it is, is we were a bit scared. It was um. Ah, oh, see, when I do videos. 
I can sit and research stuff on my phone and then I'll look really intelligent when I come across on camera, but normally I'm just, obviously it's edited well together. Um, we worried it was like a skin infection or something like that, but what we actually think it is, is because where it is, is like just kind of in the center of his back. Now, from many times, Winston likes to bite Pablo's back because he bites his harness and when he's not got his harness on, he just kind of bites the skin on his back. So we think Winston's bit it and then obviously put a puncture hole in and then it's just got infected. That's what we believe. And when we showed the vets, because we had to... We have to like FaceTime the vets because obviously they don't come and meet you unless like it's an emergency emergency. Um, they reckoned it was probably just that and we just needed some like disinfectant cream. And it absolutely stinks, doesn't it? Ah. Why are you awake all of a sudden? You were really nice sleeping there. Yeah, Stan is, Stan is a finger biter. It's the only thing he likes to do. Yeah, we've. It's not. It's not that Winston likes to bite him. It's not like he's constantly bite. It's just when he, when like the play, he's kind of like he just jumps on, he jumps on his back and then doesn't really know what to do. So kind of just, he doesn't actually bite him, but like you know when like they kind of put the teeth on and do the kind of. But I think he's obviously just caught him one time because it's never happened before. So we, that's we we think it's just a, just a play time, just a play time thing, because you do it as well, don't you? Has Stanley learned any new tricks? Stanley hasn't learned any tricks, really, have you? We haven't really done any kind of training on Stanley because <laughs> you can't just fall on your head and expect me to catch you every time. No, we haven't really like done tricks for Stanley because he kind of he sits and waits for his dinner and. Oh, did I just say the word? Sorry. You get after. You get after, okay? Just No, but we, we should. And I've, one of the videos this week is we're going to try and train him to paw because he doesn't paw. Give his paw. If the commando was bite fingers, I think he'd be, he'd be very good at that. I do more Q&As. So, the, po ah! the reason I stopped doing the Q&As is because what I wanted to do was stop it was turn them questions and answers more into like fully fletched out sketch videos like we've been doing the past week sort of thing so that's what we wanted to do but i think we might bring it back um it depends what well, after this after this whole covid19 thing is we're gonna have a me and chelsea will have a sit down and kind of see what we're going to do channel wise because obviously what we were going to do has now been stopped and we're doing other things now and it's just it's so all over the place nobody knows what's going on nobody knows what they're doing i can't plan anything because i don't know if in three weeks time we can go out the house or whether in three weeks time we're going to be still in the house because obviously we want to go to the beach i want to take the drone and the gimbal and all things like that but i don't know whether we can i don't know whether we can how's pablo's eye pablo's eye is Still got the cloudiness, but it doesn't look as bad as it was. So maybe it is coming down a little bit. That was maybe just because it maybe was flared up a little bit. But he's still got the patch on his eyes. So he's still, we still got to keep an eye on it, haven't we, mister? Keep checking. Make sure it doesn't get any bigger. Right, we need something for you to chow. Look at this. Look at this. Because my fingers are sore now. <laughs> Yeah, that was actually one thing I was wanted to do this while we have this lockdown and things is get Chelsea involved as well and design some more merch, some some more. Obviously, this T-shirt is just like the logo. And when we first launched it, it was kind of like that. That's just it. But we want to get like designs of their heads or one of each of them sort of have their own T-shirt, like a Pablo one, a Stanley one, a Winston one, which I think would be really cool. But obviously... We need to figure out a design, what we're going to do. Is it just going to be a picture of them? Is it going to be a cut out of them? Is it going to have writing on? You know, there's lots, there's lots, there's lots to think about. It 
There's so many comments, guys. Thank you. Thank you guys for coming in because I wasn't expecting many people to join us live, but thank you guys so much for coming. I am much appreciated. Will we get any more pugs? No. No. No more pugs. Three's the limit. Three's it. Yeah, three. That's all you get. No. So there's gonna there'll be no girl pugs, no more boy pugs, no other dogs. Three pugs, and that's it. That's the limit, I think. Cause when we go out together, me and Chelsea, one can have two, one can have one. But I think walking four at once is too gonna be too much. Having three at once is not a nightmare, but it's hard enough because you've only got two hands and there's three of them. So, I mean, that simple math means that's too much. So, yeah, three's, I think three's a, a good number because, like, when Pablo's tired, these two will play. When Winston's tired, these two will play. When Stanley's tired, that never happens. But when Stanley's tired, say, these two can play. So it's kind of, there's a nice rotation of them. I think throwing a fourth in. Plus, we just don't have the space or... Well, I mean, we don't really have the space, but I mean, like, money-wise as well, it's extra food, bills, insurance, all things like that. I think three is just enough. How comes we wanted pugs? Well, funny story, that, because... I never wanted pugs. I was very much that person who was like, why would you want a pug? They're like, excuse me. Now, yeah, so I was that kind of person that was just like, no, why would you want a pug? You know, the, the small little ugly things. I'll admit, I was one of them people who said that, you know, they've got the breathing problems and why would you want one of them, you know, get a proper dog so i wanted like an alsatian or a husky and chelsea was very much like pugs all the way 100 percent pug if it wasn't a pug if it wasn't a pug we weren't getting one and then well we've got three pugs so you can imagine how that conversation went but i never actually met a pug in real life until maybe a year and a bit before we got pablo bye and that just completely changed my mind. Actually, physically seeing one, stroking one, and having it in the flesh is so different to when you see them online. Because, like I said, I thought they were the horrible, like, making loud breathing noises, dogs. And then you actually realise they're very quiet and they're very soft. Because I thought they'd be wiry hair as well. Or they're very soft. And these are just the most beautiful little natured dogs ever. Except you. Except you. Come back, Pablo. Here, do you want oh. We'll take your jumper off, and then you can... Oh, it smells. Good boy. There you go. There you go, good boy. It smells like burnt wood, and that's like a really strange thing to say, but it smells like someone's like, it's like charred wood, do you smell like? It smells like someone who's put you on the bonfire. It does. You're tired. Bless him. <sighs> Honestly, that blanket, like I'm not pushing it because I realise that blanket is a lot of money that we sell. That blanket is actually amazing because blankets like that, then they're always so much smaller. Like that fully covers you. It's so soft. And obviously it's got the three boys on for us personally, so that's amazing. But it's it's warm, it's soft, it's big. And it's got these three on. Like you can't ask for much better than that blanket. It's it's very expensive. Um I'm not sure, I can't remember how much it is up for Teespring, but when we bought it at manufacturing cost, I think it was like fifty pence less than we sell it for because we make zero profit on that because to make profit on that, we'd have to be selling it for a ridiculous price. 
but we just wanted to give you guys it because we got it and we knew so many people would be like where did you get that from we only made it for ourselves so when people started asking us we're like okay we'll we'll sell it but only at manufacturing cost yes tasty fingers Who snores the loudest? Pablo. No. Yeah. When Pablo gets snoring, he's definitely the loudest. He's not having it today. But Winston probably snores the most consistent and most often, so he's normally the one we hear. Ah, oh, you've actually put a hole in my skin. Thank you. Oh, well, just me and you win. Just me and you. Oh, no, you're back. But he thinks. So this is about yeah, do you think it's due to the. Stan yeah, Stanley's eye Stanley's eye is getting a lot better. Two like two days ago before we took him to the vets, it was like fully closed and he couldn't open it. And if he tried to open it, it was like it was painful for him to open. Um, but since giving him these eye drops and stuff, it's still like ever so slightly his eyelids are kind of like closed just just a little bit more. But he's he's got it fully open now, and he's running around with it open, and it's not bothering him. He used to, he had like loads of like like gunk coming out of it, whereas now he's got none of that, just like the odd sleep. So it's getting better. It's obviously just a little bit sore or tender still. But obviously, the worry about anything to do with her eyes is ulcers. So when we've had a look, there's no signs of any kind of ulcers in his eyelids or anything like that. There we go. But Stanley's biting. Um, we, we didn't notice it when he was a puppy because he wasn't biting us. It's only really like when we do stuff like this and he's he's bored and I'm not paying like full attention to him that he starts biting us. Because if Stanley, if Winston woke up now, they just start playing around. It's just because I'm not doing anything or I'm not playing with a toy with him. But yeah, Win this is this is kind of Pablo most of the time. Winston and Stanley, like Stanley's obviously the most energetic because he's a puppy, but Winston's never lost that puppy energy. Like when he kind of hit one, we thought he would maybe calm down a bit. But since getting Stanley, re most of the time actually it's Winston who's like bothering Stanley to make him go active. But then Pablo is just super chill. He was chill as a pup from since getting both of these ones. He's stayed just as chill. Like, these two will start fighting. And he's just sat there, like, just dogs all over him. And he just sits there, like, ah, peace. He's just super chill, aren't you? He's super chill. But everyone wants to give me a hug. Come on. Hugs. Hugs for everyone. Hugs. Big hug for you, puppy. Come on. There you go. Hugs for everyone. Yeah, well, if, if people like these live streams, then by all means, we will do some more of them. We'll just sit and chill every, maybe once a month. Um, while this is going on, though, this lockdown, we will do it every every week, every Sunday, 6 o'clock. We'll come, just chill for an hour, and rather than do a video where we update you on what went on in the past week, we'll just kind of do it here, and you guys can just chill with them and see what they're like normally. Because I can only put so much on camera... I can only put, like, like when I film a video, I can only put on what I put on. So, like, no one really gets the real what actually happens. So, when I'm trying to film a video and they're all, like, sat in the background, this is normally what they're trying to do. And I'm like, stop. But they won't. So, you just got to let them do this. And then we'll have to come back in, like, half an hour when they're tired again and try and film. It's just an endless cycle.
oh yeah, Stanley, Stanley literally is just nibbling. Like all, all he's doing is like just kind of getting my finger in his mouth and just suckling it a little bit. There's a slight bit of teeth. Obviously, occasionally he does just nick the wrong bit and it does slightly hurt. But he's not like full on biting down on my fingers trying to chew them. He's just like kind of just putting them in his mouth and just giving them like a little bit of a, a little bit of a chew. Poi training, I think Winston. When did that get you sore? I think. Yeah, so I think now I would say Stanley is one hundred percent toilet trained. Um, the problem we have with him and still have with him is he doesn't go to the toilet when there's an opportunity to. So if we we go out and we take them for a walk, <laughs> you know, it set him off. Um, we can go out for like an hour and a half and he won't do a wee, he won't do a poo, he'll just wander around and have fun and go out and play and stuff. And then we'll come back and like literally 10 minutes after coming home, he goes to the back door and he's like, need a wee. Because he won't just do it when he's out, he, he does it when he needs to do it. So like, but he goes to the back door so we can let him out now and he only goes to the back door when he does need out. He used to just go because he wanted to chew the stones at the garden. So it's it's better, but it's still a bit odd. It's just like he just doesn't take the opportunity. Whereas Pablo could be in the house for like eight hours, or like from like the night the walk before on the night previous, he'll not go to the toilet until he next goes on his walk, and then he'll go to the, he'll go for like four peas, he'll go for like six poos, and it's like just go when you need to. Stop saving it all up. So yeah, the complete opposite ends of the scale, but it's going all right. Oh, oh. How, oh, yeah, I apologise if I've just said um, the W word and anyone else's pugs watching, I've just been triggered. You are not playing with a plastic baller this time. It'll be very, very loud. I know you want it. You can't have it. No, you can have it afterwards. Afterwards? Would you like it afterwards? Fuck it. Right, you go on that. And you... Ready? I'm gonna. Whoop! Bah! There you go. There you go. There you go, Wayne. We're getting dark in here. Should we maybe put a light on? I'll put a light on. Ah. How are they related? Okay, this is very complicated. And I'm, this might be completely wrong. I need to do a full video because I've got all three of the family trees somewhere and we can pinpoint whose dad's whose. Winston's, no, Pablo's dad. Pablo's dad is Winston's dad's dad. So that means Pablo is Winston's uncle. And then Stanley's... Stanley's mum is, I think, Pablo's dad's sister, I want to say. So they're like... So Pablo and Stanley are like cousins, but then Pablo is Winston's uncle. It's very confusing. It's, it's, not, it's not as simple. <laughs> I don't know. But either way, they're all from like a similar tree family line. They're all kind of... There's a point where they all meet close down the line. Is it eat? <laughs> Stanley's ear, yeah. Come here, come here, show them your ear. Stanley's ear always falls the wrong way. Um because Stanley has got really big ears. He's got really big ears. But for some reason, it's obviously a bit heavier at the top. So it constantly flips back, but it's only ever his left ear. So the fold line in it or whatever it is, is it always causes it to flip over. So he's constantly got his ear the wrong way around. Your ear's always the wrong way around, isn't it? Ah, yes, ah, okay, we're jumping on us. 
<laughs> What's the best toy for baby pugs? I'm picking my pug up in a few days. Well, congratulations. Um, best... Uh, I would say you need, you need chew toys. You need something for them to chew on. Ugh. But something that they're not going to destroy or eat bits off. So you need something that's soft on the teeth. So you don't want like a... Um, one second. Ta-da! I'm back! So see something like this is like a hard plastic solid plastic bone it is you don't want something like that you want something that's a bit more like this which is like a really hard rubber so so it's kind of flexible so when they bite the teeth into it they get like a little bit of sponging because if it's like really hard it'll hurt the teeth where you need something that they can bite into and chew and get that chewing motion but without you don't want it too soft so then bits are breaking off it and then they're eating it because obviously you don't want them eating rubber so that's the best No, none of them care about mirrors at all. Like, put a mirror in front of them, they just kind of look at it and they're like, okay, cool. I don't know. When Pablo's a puppy, he once fought himself in the mirror, but ever since then, none of them have ever bothered with mirrors. You're quite good, aren't you? You're quite good, aren't you? Yeah. At the vet, they say... You don't want to give them anything you wouldn't break against your leg. That's yeah, that's quite a good um Yeah, if you wouldn't if you wouldn't smash it against your own leg then don't give it to them. So that's why that's what I'm saying, you need something kinda rubbery, but you don't want something that's too soft that they're going to just demolish and start eating and chewing. Whereas now he's got his adult teeth, so he's quite happy with a hard bone, because that obviously his teeth are a lot harder and they're not going to break or it's not sore on his gums. But you, I mean, they chew stones and stuff in the garden, so I mean, they, they voluntarily choose to bite the hardest of things, so they obviously enjoy it. So we, they do sleep in our room occasionally, but with three of them, they can like pin you down in the duvet. So like one will get in your front, one will get behind your legs, and then one will be like by your face, and they can really like pin you in, and it gets like boiling hot. So we have the baby gates we used to have in the kitchen, that's on the bedroom door, so for the majority of nights we'll have it closed, and they'll all just sleep downstairs together or wherever they sleep together. But then occasionally we'll let them up and let them sleep in the bed because... It's nice for them to do that. They enjoy it, so you let them occasionally. But not normally we do that, and then we'll clean the bedding because obviously you've got all the hair and stuff that the shed in the bed. So, but no, we kind of sleep apart from them, but then we do let them come in the bed occasionally, don't we? Yeah, you like sleeping in the bed, don't you? You do, cause it's comfy. Lazy puppy, you're so lazy. Teeth brushing is honestly the single hardest thing. Pablo won't let you open his mouth. Um, Winston just, it just refuses. Stanley's okay. Stanley's Stanley's getting there. But teeth brushing, if you can brush the teeth, like I would, and I would start them at a young age trying to brush the teeth. Um, if you're getting a pug or if anyone's getting a pug or you've got a young pug, do that. But we we struggle so much. We try our best. Um, we do it occasionally we should do it a lot more but it's so difficult to that we kind of just gave up on it a bit and we give them rather obviously if we can't brush the teeth we do give them like dental hygiene sticks and things like that like stuff that's good for the teeth and we'll clean the teeth but actually getting a physical like brush with some like dog toothpaste and stuff oh it's just it's a fight I mean, it could take it can take like an hour just to get a bit in Pablo's mouth. It's just 
it's not worth the time. Is it, fella? You don't like it? You just don't like anything near your mouth at all. Like, even my finger there. He's just say no, no, do not touch my mouth. No, no, no. Don't know. He just doesn't like it. Dog to I mean, pet shops. If you want a dog toothbrush and dog toothpaste and stuff, pet shops should sell them. Just ask the counter that should have them. Vets and stuff will all sell them. You can get them anywhere. Hey, you moving? Oh no, you're leaving. Great. Bye, Pablo. Bye. He took himself upstairs. Why did you decide to get through? Oh, there's two questions here. Three boys over three girls. And are you glad you gave up your job? Yes. I'm glad I gave up my job in terms of... No, don't you leave. No. No, because then we're going to have no pugs on the stream. You need... Someone needs to stay. No, I am glad I quit my job to do this because it just spends so much time with them. We wouldn't have got Winston or Stanley if I didn't because we wouldn't have time to look after a puppy. It just wouldn't have been viable. So I am glad because I've got these two. From a financial perspective, I'd have been a lot better staying at my job, obviously. But for, for quality of life, like I can't... This is 100%, 2 300% better than it was before. I am going to get my dogs and we'll answer some more questions. One second. Right. What else have we got? What was your other question? I forgot already. Yes, I do clean their wrinkles. Now, cleaning their wrinkles, again, is such a hard job. And I think that's why Pablo has such a hate when you put your hands near his face because he thinks you're going to go in his folds. He really doesn't like it. Stanley's not particularly bothered. Winston doesn't particularly like it, but he'll sit there and endure it. Um, wet wipe. I'm, I'm tired. You know, I'm up the stairs. But no, a wet wipe. Normally, I just go with my pinky finger because it's the smallest and just kind of... Just get him in the nose here and just kind of... Just scoop around. And the will kind of wriggle and stuff, but you've just got to make sure it's clean. Get all the excess hair and dirt and things out. We'll do that maybe... If we can once... If they've had messy food, like say we've gave them like... Scrambled egg or something like that, we'll clean the face afterwards. Because I normally have kibble, they don't get food in the face so we clean it maybe once every two days or something they kind of just keep on top of it that way shedding shedding is bad it's shedding is really bad um pablo was bad as just a one dog like we've just had one that was awful like really awful um it's just pugs pugs just shed a lot there's nothing there's nothing really you can do you can brush them as much as you want you can you know keep them well groomed but they just shed constantly and having three it's three times as much shedding it's awful i think we've got to a point now where we're just not bothered by it i think if you're trying if you're going to get a pug and you're worried about shedding and pug hair being everywhere, don't get a pug. Because if you worry about it, it'll take over your life. We've just kind of accepted you're going to have pug hair everywhere, and we just deal with it. It's all over our clothes. It's everywhere, and we're like, eh. Because I can go now, I could go lint roll this whole T-shirt, and it'd be nice and crisp and clean. I'll go out to a shop, and I'll have a nice clean T-shirt. I'll come back in, pick Stanley up, and be like, and it's straight back to exactly what it was beforehand so it's just a waste of time you just you get used to just have accepting you've got hair everywhere you know right, fella yeah <laughs> oh we 
which which of the dogs pugs are definitely kid friendly i would say we i mean we don't have any kids to kind of like well we don't have any kids <laughs> there's no other way of saying that uh, so we don't really they don't interact with small children and babies and stuff but when like we take them for walks and there's little kids and things you know they're not running over to them and growling at them they're letting them stroke them they're very very happy and i'm sure everyone who's got pugs and i've had a lot of people say they are they are kid friendly you know they're not snacky dogs they're not dogs that jump at you you know they're not they're quite heavy the big dogs so like obviously if one of them runs into you it is quite big but like a pug would never do anything malicious to a dog a human anything so 100 percent they are kid friendly aren't you yeah yeah pablo is definitely 100 percent the alpha and it doesn't show like alpha behavior you know he's not puffing his chest up or barking at them or putting them in the place or something but he is just so well respected by these two like if he's sat on the they, them doing this now they'll do that if pablo was sat here and they came and bothered him he would just like look them straight in the eye and both of them would kind of just like sit down and be like oh sorry he pablo is just i don't know it's, it's just his presence about him he just kind of when these two will do anything for pablo if pablo the follow him like he's just pack leader 100 percent, always has been and i can't imagine it will change it's just these two these two live by pablo pablo does these follow like 100 percent. so good job pablo's a good one because you two aren't he leads by example but he's he's a still crazy dogs he's not he's a crazy uh, stop biting that no nope. pug glitter yeah that's yeah it's not pug hair it's pug glitter Would you ever have considered getting a French? Yeah, we. I quite liked Frenchies. I did. I do. I do still like Frenchies, but the combination of pugs and Frenchies. Some people have said they're fine. Um, I just. I didn't want. A, I didn't want to risk it when we had Pablo to throw a French in there. We had a French around once, and there was just like, there was a clash between them. But obviously, that it's. You could have clashes between pugs. You could have clashes between anything. But I just think French Bulldogs are a lot more, not aggressive, oh, that's, that's probably the wrong word to use, but they're a lot, they're a lot harder, they're a lot like harder faced, like they're a bit more, you know, I'm a French Bulldog, you know, no one messes with me or my family or people sort of thing. Whereas a pug's very much just like all derpy, it's kind of just like, ah, yeah, it's just, it doesn't know what's happening. Whereas the French Bulldogs, I think, are very much more like they don't want other dogs playing with their owners and stuff. They're a bit more protective in that respect. I think, from my experience at least, so that's why we didn't ever want to cross them. I think French, I think French is on their own, fine. Pugs on their own, fine. I just think the combination of the two is a bit. I think it would just throw Pablo off because Pablo's very chilled. Whereas I think a French Bulldog would have kind of overthrown his alpha status, and I don't think he'd have been happy about it at all. It was all about keeping Pablo happy. Is three pugs having a bath at the same time in the works? <laughs> yes. I say it in the works. Next time I'm having a bath, all three of them are going in with me. And we're going to have a go at it. Also, sleeping in bed with three pugs has been filmed. It has been filmed, guys. It is... I say it in the works. It's... It needs edited up and things and they need to just check and make sure because the problem is sometimes nothing happens during the night so it might be a, i'll have to check if anything happens there's any snore any moving about or it might just be but i filmed it so that could be coming soon if it's any good because that is like the best videos i've ever put out on this channel and honestly i just filmed it one night i was like ah we'll see what they do during the night uploaded it thinking nothing of it I, got, I needed a video idea and we hadn't filmed anything. I was like, we'll put night vision on, we'll film overnight and we'll see how it goes. And they're like the best videos on this channel. So I'll do another one, go viral again and that'll be, that'll be superb.
well, it was that. It was about people to read Christmas. I'm scared. Right, so first up. I'm scared about everything for these dogs. I think I think the problem when you own a pug is because uh, they are high risk. You've also you've got to be like very careful with them all the time. So you're constantly on edge about what they're doing. And when anything ever goes wrong, like Winston, he might have literally just poked himself in the eye a little bit and just got a bit of a sore eye. You know, just kind of oh my eye's a bit sore. I'm just gonna keep it closed because I've, I've you know maybe s put a bit of mud in it or something. It's like in your head you're instantly like. What if he need, what if he's gonna lose his eye and like it's so it's so much more panicking having a dog that is quite high risk. I wouldn't say it's like from what's happened to all three of them over the th three two years whatever we've had them we haven't really had much ever go wrong or like that really does need vet intervention or really serious problems. And if you put it as like well we've had we've had a, a, a few problems but there's three of them so divide it by three it's not much more than the norm but i think you're just so much more on edge about everything like if something goes wrong with the eye, you just like you, your panic levels goes way up whereas you know if, if if my eye was a bit sore the first thing i would do would be like my eyes a bit sore i'll see how it is tomorrow i wouldn't be like rushing myself to a and e like i've got a bit of a sore eye i can't really open it whereas with pugs because they are so kind of fragile it's you've got to be you've got to be on it with them right you can have it there you go do you want this sock oh look at the sock there you go you can share the sock what are the nicknames so we have so for pablo we've got pabby and pabs they're normally the ones we use for winston we've got win winnie tinny that's just a version of Winnie. Little tin, little tinny tin. And then for Stanley, we've got Stan, which is what we just actually call him now, basically, we just call him Stan all the time. Um, Stan the man. Yeah. Oh, he's a punch you in the face. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Do they steal toys? They don't steal toys because all of the toys are shared between them, but they steal socks. So as you can see, there's a sock here. Now, I've got both my socks on, so I've no idea where that socks came from. But they have a sock, so they steal. They steal. And they steal. Yeah, uh, ta yeah, I have actually thought about getting a tattoo, something to do with the boys. Now, I was maybe thinking for like 100k subscribers, I would get Pablo's name on me somewhere. I don't know. I was I was debating it. Obviously, a huge part of our lives and things, and obviously YouTube is a massive part of life. So, I I've debated it, but I'm as you can see, completely clean. I don't have a single tattoo. I don't know whether I want one. I don't know, because it's one of them things. If you get one, you need to get more, and then if you get more, then that one's not going to be special. But I, I I don't know about the whole tattoo thing. I'm my. The problem is my opinion on tattoo changes. That sometimes I'm like, I think it'd be cool if I got one. Then sometimes I'm like, eh, I don't think I really want one. Now, I can't get a tattoo and be that uncertain about it. I'd have to be like 100% sure. But it's an option. It's an option. 100k this year for sure. I like your optimism. That was my optimism as well. Hopefully, if, if we can pick things up a bit and get some more subscribers and views and things, that it could be a possibility. If not next year if not next year the year afterwards hopefully just at some point i don't really care when if that happens that'd be amazing because i've got a space on the shelf up there you can't see it on the screen but up there there's a little space on the shelf that i've already measured out for the 100k plaque because that's just the goal that's the goal you should make a twitch donation stream to fund the fabula yeah there's oh my god there's so many avenues of places to get extra money for these and stuff but well, as you can tell i've got absolutely none of them like there's twitch donations i mean you can donate i'm sure you can donate on youtube streams but i don't even know how to set that up so it's not set up at the moment patreons super chats whatever it is i don't know there's so many things but we just we just like living don't we we just enjoy life we just like we're just like sitting about and making videos. There's not much, you know, it's not. As long as we can pay the bills, 
we don't need anything more than that, so there's no point in getting more than that if we don't need to. Is the <gasps> got you? Ha <laughs> ha! Got you. Got you again. Right. Do you have wet toys or soggy toys? I mean, it depends what you mean by wet or soggy toys, because this socket currently is soggy because they've just been eating it. But if you're talking about like water toys and things for like throwing in the water, we do, but they don't really go in the water. Winston started to go in the water now, he's getting brave, he's going in, but he's, he's you know. P.O. Box for fan mail, yes, that, yes, that is something we have looked at. The only issue with that is, it's a lot of money for just a P.O. Box and it's well yeah it's just a lot it's just a lot of money like it, this is something that could be funded by you know we could try funding through something else but it's a lot of money and it's especially from where we are in Carlisle there isn't really anywhere that offers it that isn't like just I've looked into it basically and it's it's a lot of money it's very hard we'd have to travel quite a way to get a proper one um so we're a bit hesitant on it um but we can work there's, there's ways of getting like post redirected or something it's it's come i looked into it a little while ago but i didn't think it was worth it but i can look into it again definitely for sure i will do the follow you like shadows yes wherever whatever room going to there in now so although stanley and winston have both run away Wait, hold on. Wait. So they're just sat on that couch there. I don't know why. Do you want to come back? Eee. Oh, got you. There you go. See, I think this is a thing. Pablo will, like run away because if these two start playing, he kind of just goes. I don't want to get involved and goes and gets himself on a little comfy spot. Was Pablo named after Pablo Escobar? No. Pablo Pablo's name came from Pablo's name came from just messing about. We decided we wanted a pug and it was like, well what are we gonna call him? So we're debating on names, you know, we had like Frank and things like this and I remember just saying one day, I went, we'll call him Pablo. Just off the cuff, just random, like, Spanish. We were just going through, I was just going through loads of random Spanish names. And I just said Pablo. I was like, oh, Pablo's cool. Go for that. And Chelsea was like, no, nah, I'm not calling him Pablo. But we just said it so many times over and over and over again that it just eventually stuck. But Pablo is also the Spanish name for Paul. Chelsea's dad's called Paul. My uncle's called Paul. So we're like, hey, that works. We'll just go for that. Get back here. Yeah, Winnie's run off again. Uh... Did... What? <laughs> Go for you then. Go on then. Where's Pablo's Mickey? Pablo's Mickey and Winston's um, Lotto have both unfortunately passed away. They have been chewed so much. I mean, we've done some repair jobs on them, but like it's beyond repair now. We've like fully replaced all the stitching in them. Um, yeah, they're just, we don't have them anymore, which is a shame because they absolutely loved them. But they also started taking them out in the garden and trying to bury them and stuff. So we just, they got too dirty, got too, well, just, just destroyed really. They are only soft. I mean, they're meant for like babies. So they're not like the most robust really. Well, no, they're, they're not made for babies. They're made for just like kids cuddling. So they're not, they're not meant to be like soft toys as, as they call them. Good boy. We still got poo. We still we still got a lot of toys of poo bears and stuff like that. Like his, his nose has came off poo bear, but ah, 
Ow. See, see, then he bit me, but that was because my finger was in the sock. That was a proper bite, but he didn't realise my finger was in there, so that's fair enough. Hello. I'll say hi to everyone. Hello, 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 socks. Do any of them have breathing problems? No, the only thing actually at the moment, as I was saying at the start of the video, he's got an eye problem, he's got a skin problem, and Winston actually, we think Winston might have um, hair fever, because ever since this kind of, just before the isolation period started, you know, when all like the grass and stuff started growing again and people started cutting the grass, he started occasionally just, not all the time, just very randomly, we kind of just like, kind of go, <laughs> but that'll be it. And it's, it's strange, because obviously it's a breathing problem, but Pablo had the same thing when he was a puppy, and then he grew out of it, whereas Winston didn't have it as a puppy, but maybe he's grew into it. But because the seasons changed, like when we when it was with Pablo, it was the same time of year, we think it is related to that, so we're going to keep an eye on it. If it gets worse, we'll take it to the vets. If it, if it stops, then obviously it's a season-changing thing. But obviously it's the heat, the grass, the pollen in the air and everything like that, so... We're hopeful, well, hopefully it is just, it is just that, but we're keeping an eye on it, we're making sure if we've had no other issues other than just the occasional little gasp for air. But obviously it could be a palate issue, but we'll keep it, like I say, we're keeping an eye on it, so. What do you feed them? We feed them Lily's Kitchen. Where's that bag you had? It's outside, it's destroyed. We feed them Lily's Kitchen, um, just the dry kibble. You're on duck and lamb at the moment, are you? And then Stanley is on the puppy food version. You're on the puppy food version, aren't you? Yeah. Why are you on the puppy food version? Because you're a puppy. Because you're a puppy. Yep. <laughs> oh, you're such a such a little player. Such a little player. How's the lockdown going? The lockdown is going just fine. It's fine. I mean, it's it's awful. Not seeing family and things like this but it's fine we're coping we're coping fine we've got the boys to keep us entertained we're taking them out on a walk every day i take them on a big walk so we spend lots of time out the house stanley's about How old are you now? Seven months? Six months? Seven months? We don't, we don't have raw meat or cooked meat very often. Um, oh, a lot of times if the, if we're getting like um, tablets or medicine, we'll give them stuff like that. But typically, we like it's hard. Ah, we have like a really small freezer, so we can't stock up on stuff. So we have to get it fresh on the day. So typically if we take them to the vets or we know they're going out somewhere for like a special day to like say the beach and we know they're going to be hungry, we'll maybe get some stuff on the way home but we don't like to stock up on anything. But we normally give them like, they'll have like egg and things like that instead of, like so we'll have dry food and then they'll have that instead because obviously we don't want to just give them dry food constantly but at the same time we don't want to mix the diet too much. We do want to keep them, because they are on quite a strict diet to keep them Nice and lean and healthy. Are they expensive? Yeah, that's that's a birthmark. We covered that at the start of the video, but yeah, it's a birthmark. Um, expensive in terms of buying them, uh, it depends really. I mean, they can be. These were about a thousand pound each. But obviously if you adopt, which you should always go for if you can, obviously then they're free or you just you give a donation when you when you adopt, you maybe give them like a donation of hundred, two hundred pounds, whatever. Um in terms of upkeep, I think monthly wise for all the food, vet bills, insurance and things like that, it's about a hundred pounds a dog. So it's about three hundred pounds a month just for these but obviously that includes well that's like we buy i would say decent food quite expensive food you know we've got quite high-end insurance on them we take them to quite uh premium vets i guess you could say you know we we look after them we spend the money on them so i mean it, 
you could get it cheaper but i would say if you're gonna look at three dogs it's about 100 pound a dog a month assuming you don't need to invest anything else but then obviously that doesn't really cover like beds and toys and things it kind of does you you probably get it for that but like i mean we buy like new beds all the time um get toys constantly so it probably racks up it's probably gonna be like more about 400 pound a month and obviously they all share toys so it's not like when you buy three dogs over one you have to buy more toys it's the same amount of toys but they just all share them could you suck could you suck worth every penny worth yeah worth worth every penny 100 percent someone said you've got 300 pound a month to spend what would you buy three bucks that's, that's all yeah that's all i would run i wouldn't even get myself food is tony a probable name for winston no nah, i don't think we'd call him tony that's quite far off you want to be called tony the face he's giving me is it's that's enough they're sort of related deep family weird history they've all got all the parents are related in some way wow right <laughs> right what we'll do is i said we'd be on for an hour we've been on like an hour and ten but obviously we took a bit of while getting the stream going that was that was a fail that was a fail on my part i know what i'm doing now so it's all good but what we'll do before we go is i'll push the camera back into the corner and because stanley's awake we'll have a little bit of a play about for a bit i want to just show them how you normally play yeah have a bit of a play around and then we'll go and we'll get you get your dinner Ah, that woke you up. Are you at your dinner? Ah, I thought you might. What about you? Well, come over here then. I'll come over here. Has Stanley been swimming yet? Stanley hasn't been properly swimming. We've dunked him in water up to his legs, but he hasn't been fully submerged in. That's what we want to do when we go to the beach. Take him fully swimming. Um. Yeah, so we'll have a bit of play about with him. No, I don't get annoyed at what people are saying over and over again in the chat because I can't keep up with the chat when I'm talking to you guys and playing with these and stuff. I can't see everyone's messages, so I probably haven't seen a lot of them, even if they have been repeated, so... Right. Let's move you back over here. Whoa, watch yourselves. Ugh. Where are we at? Ooh. There. I think that should do it. Will that do it? Yep. So, let's I don't know how in shot I am. But yeah, so we'll do this like kind of every Sunday so you guys can come chill out for a bit and just have like past just an hour of your time really because... It has been difficult. I've been tuning into people's streams just like I say, because if you're in the house for three weeks, just passing an hour here and there and just chilling out, seeing these guys just as they are normally chilling. I think it's interesting for you guys. It's good to me to actually interact with you guys properly live because, well, it is completely different to obviously just doing a video and just responding to comments, like actually physically talking to you guys. It's quite cool. But yeah, we'll do more of a. And if you're watching this video not live afterwards and coming back to the video and you can't make the live streams but you've got a question to ask, do drop it in the comments and then I can kind of have some ready for next week's. Right. You gonna play, Pabs? You gonna play? You gonna play? You gonna play? You wanna play? Yeah, do you wanna play? Do you wanna play? Give it, give it more. Get, get away. You get that end. You get that end. You get that end. Cool for all. You get that end. I'll get the middle. Go on, go on, pull, pull. Go on. 
And this is what it is normally like, you've just got Pablo just just chilling, having a good time while these two play. Just chilling. Don't wanna get involved. Don't wanna get involved. Don't wanna get involved. Yeah? Or you just wanna get scratched. You tell him, you tell him when, you tell him, you tell him when, you tell him. <laughs> and if anybody says pugs are lazy, the lion. That's not sitting. See, it stands sitting. You know how to as well. Sit. Hey, Paul. Good boy. Hey, Paul. <laughs> no. <gasps> what are you doing? What are you doing? Come on, then. Whoosh. 